He will go down as one of the more controversial figures in Michigan history. Manuel Maddie Maroon has passed away at the age of 93. Rob Maloney joins us this evening with a look at his life and his legacy. Rod. You know, Karen Devin, we all know that uh, he owned the Ambassador Bridge, had a trucking company worth $1.7 billion, according to Forbes today. He was unrepentant and used his wealth to advance his business interests, and he was one tough customer. But that made him very unpopular, especially people in this area uh, around his bridge. Uh, they thought of him as a robber baron. But there's one guy, political consultant by the name of Adolf Mongo, who knew him better than most and had an entirely different view of Matty Maroon. If you want to mess with him, he, he, he had no problem. Uh, throwing the uh, fist the cuffs at you. Matty Maroon died yesterday of congestive heart failure with his family surrounding him. By all accounts, a workaholic, he graduated from Notre Dame, wanted to be a doctor, but wound up working for his father at his Detroit gas stations. Mongo says few knew the man, and he was far different than his public persona. A very knowledgeable about the city of Detroit, loved the city, uh, worked his way up from the bootstrap. He moved into the trucking business and before long started buying shares in the Ambassador Bridge, eventually getting majority stake, buying out none other than Warren Buffett. But the bridge decayed over the years. Maroon wanted to build a second, but his long battles with the state and the Canadian government led Michigan to greenlight Canada, building its own instead. Maroon fought hard with lots of money and political donations. He even spent a night in jail for taking over a city street and putting a bridge abutment in it. A judge made him tear that down. He wasn't a guy that looked for accolades. He played tough, hardball. Uh, he could have really better explain uh, that, that, that uh, train station. When, when they got it, it was already in bad shape. That, of course, won a lot of scorn for Matty Maroon that he didn't tear down the train station, particularly in the toughest of times when it didn't have any windows in it and it was really an eyesore. But Mongo believes now that he sold it to Ford and Ford's going to convert it into something pretty special, that that could end up being Matty Maroon's real legacy. Back to you. You know, Rod Maroon had a lot of detractors. Did you speak with any of them today? Yeah, uh, Greg Ward is a gentleman uh, that I know uh, and have known for many years. He runs the uh, the truck ferry across the river. He crossed swords with uh, Matty Maroon perhaps more than most. He did say that he sent condolences to Matty Maroon's family, but he also said that Matty was mostly focused on his business versus community interest, and he was concerned uh, about only that, and uh, that he, Greg Ward, says that he was not a force of good and again, satisfying only his business interests with a lot of vacant buildings left in his wake. All right, lots of different varying opinions. All right. Thank you, Rod. We appreciate it.